All right, in our last video, we did our adjusting entries. So now it is time to post those adjusting entries to our general ledger. Now posting journal entries to the general ledger is going to work just like it did before with regular journal entries. Um, we're still going to have to make sure that we're focusing on um, using the correct post ref. In this case, it's going to be page two. Uh, we're going to make sure we're updating those balances correctly and then finishing up by putting the correct account number. The one big change that we are going to see is that now in the item column, we're going to put adjusting. Or if you want, uh, some professors just want you to put ADJ, some want you to put adjusting entry. Just stay consistent with what you do use and pay attention to what your instructor prefers. All right, so let's start at the top, supplies expense. So supplies expense on January 31st. This is for an adjusting entry on the second page of the journal. We debited that account by 800. Now we have an $800 balance and post. All right, supplies. Here we go. On the 31st, it's an adjusting entry, second page of the journal. We credited it for 800. So now we're left with a $200 balance there. And if we go back to our adjusting entries, keep in mind before in A, it said only 200 of supplies were remaining. Notice now it's showing we have $200 in supplies remaining. So that's the cool part about it. All right. Well, cool to me. I don't know how much to you. All right, let's go to the next one, depreciation expense. Let's scroll down. Depreciation, where are you? There you are. On the 31st, it's an adjusting entry. J2. And we debited it for 100, so we have a $100 balance there. All right, next we have, oh, actually, depreciation expense, 5.8. There we go. All right, next, accumulated depreciation. Contra asset, so it should be up with the assets. There it is. All right, accumulated depreciation on January 31st. Adjusting entry, second page of the journal. We credited it by 100, so we have a credit balance of 100. And posted. All right, rent expense. So rent expense on January 31st. Adjusting entry, second page of the journal. Let's see, we debited it for 500, so we have a 500 debit balance. Posted. Good. Prepaid rent. Remember, this is the one where we paid for three months in advance. Second page of the journal. And what we did to prepaid rent was we credited it for 500, which means that we're left with two more months a thousand dollars posted second page of the journal for salaries and wages expense debit for 270 270 debit balance posted Right. Salaries and wages payable. Second page of the journal. We credit for 270, 270 credit balance. Two and two, posted. All right. Unearned fees. Second page of the journal. We debited it for 500, which gives us a 1,500 credit balance. Remember, 2,000 credit, we debited it for 500. We're taking away 500 of that balance, which means that we still owe $1,500 in services. Posted. All right, fees earned.
All right. Adjusting J2. And what did we do? We credited it for 500. So now we have a 10,500 credit balance. Credit plus a credit, 10,500. And 411 posted. All right, accounts receivable. Adjusting, second page of the journal. We debited it by 700. So debit of 8,000 plus debit of 700, 8,700 debit balance. And fees earned. J2, 700. So we had 10,500 credit. We just added 700 to that. So we're left with 11, left with. So now we're up to $11,200 credit balance. And posted. So now that we have posted all of those different adjusting entries, you're going to notice that uh, we have some uh, changes to the ending balances in each of these accounts. So that means that our next step is going to involve updating our trial balance via an adjusted trial balance. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next video. See you there.